M0FXP check out the new Radto RT950. I think you're going to like this one. Let's turn it on. The, the screen is very high quality. You've got the 880 there in the background, but this thing, honestly, it's just crisp. And you do have to pay a bit extra for it. Currently advertised at $86 on the Radtel site, 10 watt Bluetooth, and it covers the CB bands, short wave, long wave, medium wave, VHF, UHF. I'm just looking on here, I'm pretty sure it does air band. Well, let's find out. So we we'll just quickly get everything out of the box here. Of course, radio, and it's a larger radio, chunkier radio. And I'll do the backlight in a minute. It comes with a desktop charger and also USB cable. It looks like it's one of those screw-on types. You know, some people don't like them, but I'm okay with it, because when you use them, you can still hear the radio. Uh, belt clear pad, looks like quite a nice an antenna there. These antennas work completely fine. Um, I find, in my experience, is spending lots of money on, a on an antenna doesn't make hardly any difference if the antenna's okay to start with. Just get on a hill and, and connect to your external antenna. Now they've really gone up market with this. Yes, it does do airband and APRS, and as I said, and CB. I don't know many people like that. Now you do need to make sure whatever band you use this on, that it's legal in your country. But look, back a backlit keyboard, very nice blue ABC there, nice and clear. You've got ABC, so you're going ABC. So watch this, ABC. Antenna is, and it does have. I'm going to turn this on. It does have a HF, I noticed, in there in the menu. And I've literally just turned this on. Let's just see. Now, that's a proper knob, yeah? So, uh, the middle one is a knob and then on-off. And, vo you know, on-off volume. Uh, you know, the, the screen is so clear. And, yes, we do have Bluetooth. But look at this menu. I'll show you the broadcast radio first. That's your... When you press the bottom button... It's but look, it's taking you straight into 14 megahertz. And I know it's within there. I did see that. You know, if look here, it says APS Vox. Uh, within that, so within this, you're going to get broadcast, but you're also going to get your CB receive mind, um, upside by and lower side by, and all that kind of stuff. You've got a VFO memory button there. So if you press the bottom button, look at that nice signal display. Now that that is lovely. I don't know if, if the camera does it justice, yeah? But that is like a TV screen. Like, uh, so you can bet that the boot-up image that you put up here is going to be clear. So it's sort of black at the background at the moment. You can see that it's clearly marked A, B, C, and you, the clear APRS there. So VFO and memories. And I haven't added memories yet, but of course I'll be making videos and adding memories and, and also what, learning how to add memories into zones. And there's several... You know, there's several zones here. That's where you screw on your programming cable and your um, you know, speaker mic. I mean, they've put a lot of work into this. I'm telling you, this, I, you know, this came out. I didn't even know they were making this. Uh, belt clip, of course. Wrist strap. Big LED when you TX. Let's, um, let's look, look at this menu. I just did the backlight. So you go menu. It, uh, by pressing the OK button and look how nice this looks. So the menu titles are Vox Zones, VFO and Channels, CTCSS, DCS, so that's setting your tones for repeaters, radio settings, APRS, uh, user keys so you can pre-program all these keys, Bluetooth, let's turn it on. So we're going to go press OK and just go to on. I, I haven't tested it. Let's back out. Bluetooth is now showing us on. Now I, I'm interested to know if that would do, would work as a, as a speaker. Of course, you know if I could share it to a speaker. So let's just keep going. So menu. We went to APR set and to do the there's your Bluetooth to do the backlight. I went to setting. Press OK and then you've got your beat, voice, keypad and backlight. And then I just went. Selected it, pressed OK again, and put and selected the top one, which is basically permanently on. That's airband just on a rubber duck. And remember, Radtel's airband always works well, always. Uh, twin PTT style on the side, and then you've got your programmable button that I have not programmed yet, but let's press and hold the bottom one. Uh, so it's still taking you into 
the FM radio. I did. I bet you there is a mode button. Because I've literally just turned this on as a seek. Uh, I did see mode in the settings. Let's just press the other one. So you press it. Did you see that? It goes nice and red when you TX. And it will auto, see that? It will auto, the radio's on. It will auto turn on when you're here, when you're receiving the handband. The top, oh, the bottom, this one is programmed as a PTT. Um, you can't PTT on airband. Of course, it won't even let you, which is good. You know, a lot of people um, say that. But of course, there's no way Radtel are going to make a radio that allows you to transmit on the on the aviation bands. And I've, nev I've never known of it, ever. Yeah. Uh, unless it's designed for that. So let's go into VFO mode. Which is frequency mode, channel mode. Uh, when you press it, there you go. It's memories. Frequency four three four five fifty. Then I'm going to go menu. Now there's probably a shortcut for these, but I'm going to go menu. Menu. And okay, let's back out. I'm going to do on the on the A band. Let's go for uh, VFO. Four three four five five zero, which is my hubnet node in this room. Then we're going to press OK. Menu. Down to CTCSS transmit press ok and we want 77 and the speaker sounds lovely on this thing it's like a motorola style it's a big set but it's done it, it, it look at that it just looks great doesn't it i know you're going to be going well i've got the radtel you know 880 why do i i don't or the uv98 you know why should i go out and buy yeah and i get that but thing is you know this is a, this is an upgrade how nice that sounds this is an upgrade, you know, 80, 90, 60, actually less. It's sounding good. And if I was to transmit, I don't think I've set the, have I set the CTCSS? It goes red. There is a spectrum scope. Let's see if we can set one on the shortcut. So we're going to go menu. Navigate to programmable buttons. So just going with the up and down arrow here. Use a key, there it is there. Okay. Then let's set the long press. So you can set every button and the side buttons. So we're gonna select and within this you can you've got the radio which will be your HF radio as well. Search spectrum NOAA squelch, you know, all kinds of things. But we want the spectrum. Press OK, then back out. And then what we're gonna press and hold is the zero that we just programmed. And there it is. And if you press the hash, you can actually hear it. Do that again. Yeah. I, there you go. I know you can. Possibly I could lower the squelch. Press this again. But just now, I could hear it. I mean, uh, there it is. Quite basic there at the moment, but we need to learn it, don't we? Let's go back. Well, Menu. I'm noticing a GPS signal here. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, it's in the APRS, and there it is there. You've got repeater settings, beacon setup, APRS on off. Oh, it's on at the moment. Okay, I might turn that off actually at the moment. I don't want to send out any APRS on that channel. But yeah, you can see B GPS on off, which is on. So let me just see. I'm just going to turn on the Bluetooth on my phone, on my phone and just see if it detects it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it right now, but I'm going to do a dedicated video to programming this via Bluetooth. You need to get the app downloaded. Look at that, we've got an extra green battery thing there. So, what's that? Uh, we'll go menu. menu. Zones, VFO channel, let's select. Step, direction, offset, receive modulation. AM, FM. CTCSS, radio set. Um, it is beautiful and sounds lovely and uh, i'm just gonna see press the radio i'm just gonna see if i can just go on to 40 meters will it let me out in zero seven let's just uh and let's see if we can find um upside band lower side band because when i press menu now it's got this shorter menu obviously memories there's some that have been pre-added already Modulation is at the moment only showing AM, FM. 
but we will work that one out. Work band, and then I can see long wave, medium wave, short wave band, which is fine. Now look, Vox, APS, MO, is that mode? So all we need to find out, I'll download the manual and have a good read, is how to get that into HF receive. So ultimately, it's, let's, let's just quickly type in uh, a CB frequency, because zero, it, see if it will just do it as it is. It does, yeah. And then it's mixing and matching as well. It's going to work as a CB. We're going to test the harmonics. We're going to test the TX power. I, I as an unboxing video, I am impressed. I w and remember when I unboxed the Radtel 880, I was blown away by how good it is. So I still think this is a fantastic device. But this is like the super super model. Definitely worth paying extra. If you like having lots of radios like me, you're going to love this set. Um, and highly recommended. Thanks uh, so much to Radtel. They did send me this one. Um, no, normally I buy all my radios, but this one just came through the post. And I am super, super impressed with it. Uh, definitely lots more videos to follow as we cover all the different functions. You know, APRS, GPS, Bluetooth as well. That nice sort of Motorola design. People like that. I know some people go, it's too big. But no, no, people like that big, chunky, sort of retro Motorola design. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe. 7-3, all the best.